You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, we're going to be talking about the Buffalo Bills and Cole Beasley and Isaiah McKenzie. Now, I believe that Cole Beasley is the face of NFL players that do not want to get the jab. Now, it is his his right to actually not get the jab. I mean, this is not um, communist China. At least it's not supposed to be anyway. But he doesn't want to get the jab. Other players don't want to get the jab also. So NFL players that do not want the jab, they're subjected to NFL COVID protocols, which means and it's a completely ridiculous to me. They have to wear masks in certain areas around the facilities, other places they don't. Um, it's, it's pretty ridiculous to me because I don't believe that the virus discriminates on where you at in a facility. OK, now you can literally be around your own teammates who you're actually tackling and um, coming in contact with in practice. But if you're in a uh, like a meeting situation, I guess you got to be masked up because the virus just magically disappears when you are in a meeting. But Kobe, Cole Beasley and Isaiah McKenzie now. They have been fined by the NFL for violating COVID-19 protocols. So let's read over here on ESPN and see what happened. Buffalo Bills wide receivers Isaiah McKenzie and Cole Beasley on Thursday disclosed they were fined for violating the NFL's COVID-19 protocol. McKenzie tweeted out a picture of the letter he was sent by the NFL detailing multiple documented violations of the protocol. So obviously this wasn't the first time he's violated the protocols. He said in a subsequent tweet that he was fined $14,650. Now I remember putting up a video about a month ago saying that that would be the fine amount here. And he tweets out, he says, they got me at NFL. You win. Beasley did not disclose how much he was fined, only saying on Twitter that he was disciplined for not wearing a mask for, quote, literally five steps from the entry door to a locker room after wearing it that whole day. If this is true, guys, this is completely and utterly ridiculous. It really is. Now, uh, Bill's coach on Sean McDermott had this to say. Quote, it's unfortunate when players get fined. That's been that being said, these rules have been agreed upon and in place and well communicated for some time. And so it's important for us that we focus on being safe and healthy. That's number one. And that's always been number one. And then number two is doing our best to stay focused on the goal and the purpose of why we're here, which is to win football games. Now, I want to jump back to Cole Beasley here. So he said he was just five steps from a door. And that's the reason why he got fined. So think of this, guys. If you're like walking up to um, your front door or whatever, let's just say this, for example. Let's say you walk to the front door. You just take off your mask because, you know, you're about to go inside. And they busted him for that. Essentially, that's what it sounds like to me. So this is pretty tit tack here, but I'm pretty sure also the NFL is not happy with Cole Beasley whatsoever. Because I said it before, he seems to be the face of the players that do not want to want to get the jab. It goes on, it says, according to the Leeds letter, McKenzie's discipline comes after he failed to wear a mask in the team facility on multiple occasions on Wednesday. So this is all in one day. Once while walking through the indoor field house into the training room and again in the meeting area of the weight room while gathered near other players after the offensive meeting. In addition to those violations, the lead said it sent a written warning to him on July 27th saying that future violations would result in, quote, increased discipline, including for conduct detrimental conduct detrimental. Wow. So. Isaiah McKenzie, this was not his um, first uh, violation. So it seems like the league just kind of gave players warnings at first. And now they're finding him. So I'm assuming that Cole Beasley is probably the same way as well. 
Under the NFL's COVID-19 policy, unvaccinated players are required to wear a mask throughout the team facility, which the league reminded McKenzie of it in his uh, in a letter on Thursday. Quote, your conduct is expressly prohibited by the protocols. The NFL told McKenzie, again, your conduct potentially compromised not only your safety, but also the safety of others, as well as leads stability ability, I should say, to ensure that your club's training camp is conducted in a safe manner. Now, here is the problem, guys. Here's the problem. Mike Drabel, head coach, Tennessee Titans, fully vaccinated. Got the virus, got the virus and uh, potentially, you know, could have exposed uh, Tom Brady to it as well. Not really sure. But if he's interacting with other people and spreading the virus, he doesn't get in trouble. But if you don't get the jab and you spread the virus, then you do get in trouble. See that, that this is the problem here. This this is a major problem here. I mean, there, there's essentially guys. Essentially, there's kind of like segregation going on in the NFL. This is ridiculous. Beasley has been vocal, vocally opposed to the NFL's protocols for vaccinated and unvaccinated players and responded in support of McKenzie on Thursday. Quote, don't worry, they got me too, Beasley tweeted. But I was wearing a mask when I was in close contact with fully vaxxed trainer who tested positive and still got sent home. So what's the point of the mask? Anyways, he's right about that. He is 100% right about that. So a fully vaxxed trainer got the virus. He still got the virus, guys. These NFL protocols are ridiculous. Uh, goes on here, quote, meanwhile, I'm still here uh, testing negative and can't come back. Make it make sense. It doesn't make any sense. So Cole Beasley has not tested positive. And he hasn't gotten the jab, but this trainer, fully vats, got the jab. He got sent home. Unreal, guys. Unreal. Um, Madharma said um, around 81 percent of the team is fully vaccinated. Buffalo has placed three players on the reserve COVID-19 list due to positive tests this preseason, including starting left tackle Deion Dawkins, who was hospitalized for four days as a result of the virus. Now. That's the first uh, NFL player I can think of that actually got hospitalized because of the virus. First time I've heard this uh, quote. I go back to the personal decision on this thing. I respect our players position. McDermott said um, Thursday, in my personal opinion, it's right to get vaccinated. McDermott said there's a fine line between the personal and competitive reasons surrounding players choices to be vaccinated or not. But he stressed that the final roster cuts will not be based on players decisions regarding the matter. I'm not too sure about that. I'm really not too sure about that. I believe it'll play some kind of a role. I really do. Uh, quote, that's a choice of being vaccinated or not vaccinated will not be a factor in deciding who stays and who goes. Like I said before, I'm not buying it whatsoever. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys think of Isaiah McKenzie and Cole Beasley being fine body NFL? for violating COVID-19 protocols. So what's going to happen if there's other violations? Will they be suspended? I don't know. I'm not really sure. But uh, almost $15,000 fines. Cole Beasley said that, uh, well, at least ESPN said um, they didn't know how much uh, Cole Beasley was fined. But I'm pretty sure pretty sure it's the same amount because that's the amount uh, I reported on uh, probably about three weeks or a month ago on that. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this Black and White Live fans? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Live and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.